That is Dan Hunt with the JSKA Rochester Virtual Dojo. Today is uh, February 25th. Uh, we're going to spend uh, a good amount of time working again on our uh, Coach Show show. Um, if folks feel like they've got it, maybe we'll take a little sense check after about half the class. And uh, if that's the case, maybe we can go into go to show die a little bit to see if uh to see if we can you know look at the similarities and the differences and maybe uh maybe pick that up as well a little bit today all right so let's get started all right uh andy lim were you good with uh go to show show or still need some uh some tweaks i i was able to go through the previous videos i have some no. Towards the end there is where I'm okay. a little rough. All right, well let's uh, let's go through it and maybe you can ask questions as we go. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. Go to show show. Os ayoy. Okay, bring the right arm across, left arm underneath. Marote, okay. Then back stance. You can hand you on done. Kakiwaki. Repeat. Then Tate Shuto in a front stance. Two punch. Kick punch. Tate Shuto. Two punch. Kick punch. Step all the way back facing the front. Elbow, cover the eye. Reach to the front. Squeeze your thighs together as you reach. Have your right hand go slightly to your left shoulder side and then pull so this goes across the body kind of like a slice okay left hand is underneath the elbow palm down now split this right hand goes flat left hand goes down just over the foot over the knee and step forward twist 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 picture their head is in here and you're twisting it okay Again, same thing, move your right leg only, squeeze your thighs together, reach across your left side, pull 45 degrees, split, twist, twist, twist. Okay, from here, big turn, hands go high, toss down. So this little right hand is about, uh, is uh, middle of your forearm at your belly button, okay? and the left hand is down okay both hands are palm up okay then we're going to step across reach with the left hand on top lift the knee pull stack the hands right hand is on top toss the other side same thing this time right hand is on top and then twist to stack the hands left hand on top okay repeat again Reach across and pull. Split. One, two, three. Okay, strike the neck with a shuto. Bend at the elbow. Strike the other side. This is slow. Then fast. Strike the neck with the left hand. Palm is up. And then bend at the elbow. Strike the neck on the other side. Palm is down. Uchiuke. Big twist of the hips, okay? Over rotate your hip like in hand yonda or hand knee down. Kick, land forward, cover punch like in uh, empty, and down block like in empty. Reach again, pull, split, one, two, three. Okay, big turn again, toss. Let me step, move back here. Okay, this time we're gonna do a tate shuto as I lift my leg up, reverse punch, toss. Step across, tate shuto, lift the leg up, reverse punch. Okay, first move, forearm block or back fist. Hammer fist with your fist, uh, fingers on the downside. Hammer fist this way, then lunge, punch, ki. Eep. Drop the hands up to the chin. Toss this back on the 
on the hip, on the hips and then drive and rotate front stance. Hands go down all the way around Nekodachi. Okay, these are facing downward, not out here like this, downward. Then they come up slightly out. Then this next one is gonna be up and down. So it's gonna be a kind of a, uh, a wave type into Kosadachi cross-legged stance. Hey! Then pivot and pull. Then finish. All right, so Andy, where were you thinking you needed some help on that? Um, I have three questions. I'll start furthest back. Uh, the one where after the your big toss this way, yeah, and then you come. Across Hold on, let me uh, let me get you. Hold on, let me get you in the spotlight here. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> so, Replace spotlight. There we go. Okay, here. yep, that one. Yep. Here, you come uh -huh. across. Hand comes underneath. Uh, mm -hmm. Left hand, left hand underneath. And then, and then as you, and it goes out when you lift your leg up. Yeah, That's there you go. Yep. And then land, reverse punch, toss. And then same thing, left underneath. Then land, reverse punch. Right. Yes. Tate shuto. Correct. Okay. Yep. Any and other points? One where you go. To, yep. Um. Is is this? Like um, up underneath the chin. Underneath the chin, but I don't, I don't see folks bringing them real close. They're like, they're like here. So f maybe okay, could, a little could... bit bigger, a little bit bigger than your thumbs apart from each other. Okay. Yeah, a little, yeah, about there. That's about what I see folks do there. But in reality, I personally think I would put both, both fists underneath their chin. Yeah, for application. Yeah, for application. Application. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then the last move where it's here and you go to Kutsudachi, is it yeah. step through or is it just behind? Oh, okay, so let's go through that a little bit with everybody. All good questions. Let me uh, Let me see if I can replace it and I'll help you out with that one. Okay. So this one here, um, let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, so we're here, right? We're in a front stance. We're gonna drop our hands and step forward into a nekodachi with our right leg forward. Okay, so keeping a nekodachi. Then squeeze in and twist out. And then from here, I'm gonna just take my right foot and shift in and step in with the right and bring the left leg behind it this way. So the right leg stays in front, okay? So from here again, it's Nekodachi, bring it up. And this is a little bit up and a little bit down. It's not way up here and down, and it's not just back and forth. It's got a little bit of up and down to it. So think of it as um, I've got his arms here, okay? Where does that take his head? Here, my arms out here, right? So then I'm gonna come up and down into the neck, into both sides of the neck here, boom, okay? So easy, easy bunkai to read on that one. All right, any other questions on that, Andy? Good? Okay, good. Anybody else have questions since we went through it? Let's see, hey Gary, hi Elliot, welcome. All right, let's do it one more time. Hi Dirk, didn't get to say hi. Masa, Miho, good to see you. All right, let's go. One more time. Well, then we'll try and let's work, we'll work on some of the pieces of it to see if we can perfect some of the performance of it, okay? Okay. 
itch. Slow. Knee. Stay in back stance. Don't rock. And this goes out and comes back a slightly. Step across, cross your arms. Do not drop your hands. Out, comes back slightly. Okay. Palm up to palm out. Two punch, kick punch. So all that is all blinding speed, okay? Then this is slow again, breathing out. Then two punch, kick punch. Step back quick. Reach is quick. Pull is slow. Then the next four techniques are quick. <laughs> then quick, slow, split. <laughs> okay, those are quick. Next one is quick. Make sure your hands come up high to toss low. <laughs> okay, step across, left hand underneath. Uh, hold on, sorry. R right hand on top as you step across. Right hand or left hand on top, stack. Right hand on top, toss. Step across. This time, right hand on top, stack. Left hand on top, pull. Okay, recatch. Split. One, two, three. Shoot dough to the neck. So this one is just a regular shoot dough, just like in uh, hand yondan, just not hand up here, hand is on your side. Bend at the elbow, palm down, striking the neck on this side. Then strike the neck again with the left. And then bend the elbow, strike the neck. Uchuke. Okay, the rest of this going all the way to the down block is just like empty. Kick. Cover punch, down block. Squeeze your thigh together, pull. Split, one, two, three. Get a little closer here, away from that. Okay, big turn, toss. Again, your hands come up, come up here. Okay, let's just say you tried to knock him here. He's not gonna, he's not helping. So I wanna take him up a little bit and drop him down this way. So using the up and down motion, of my body and my arms. Step across, palm up on the left, knee lift as you push out, punch, toss. Step across, knee lift, punch. First move, slow. Then quick, we're gonna go back and go forward, almost like a, a springboard. It's, hey! From here, drop the hands, come up, drop, throw it back, elbows, step, step forward, hands go down first, all the way around, Nekodachi. Wrists up, step forward, or shift forward, right leg stays forward, Kosadachi, itch, Aip! then pivot and pull, and yummy. All right, anybody else have questions? Gary, it's all clear as mud, good. No, I'm open to questions, don't give me that, uh, whatever. I think I, I think good I get to the end, I know we rushed it a little last time and then I got in a little bit late here this, uh, this evening, so. Um, but I, I just have to work a little bit on those last few moves. Okay. Well, but, from where where do you seem to to start to lose where you're at? After the, from the uh, toss. So yeah, you have the toss and then step right. Yeah. So punch. left yeah, left hand punch. Yep. Right, right. And then from then on this move here. The same uh, hands. Same hand. Yeah. Then. Then that's why I, after that I got to. Okay, so let's go to uh, let's go to the one, two, three. Okay, this is 
just before that last toss. Okay, so come with me. All right, so big turn toss, one. Okay, left hand's gonna go under your armpit. And then lift the knee, let the hand out. Same time, punch, toss again. So same thing with this one, lift the knee, put the arm out and punch. Okay, from there, first move. Then split, make sure this hip goes all the way around, comes back. Drop the hands up under the chin, behind the back, elbows, twist. Okay, both hands go down, all the way around. Step forward with your right leg into a nekodachi. Okay, wrists go up and in, up and out a little bit. And then step forward, kosadachi. So right leg staying forward. And then pivot and pull. Yame. Okay, one of the corrections I made earlier today is make sure when you reach across these, this comes like where your left left shoulder is. So this is kind of like a like a slice. If you're gonna slice with a sword, same sort of thing. I need to get on this side of his neck to pull and then push down and then I'm gonna take his head. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right, does that help, Gary? More questions? All right, anybody else? Masa? Dirk? All right, Elliot, you all right? I don't see your pretty face. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, Andy, question? Question. So after mm -hmm. this double punch, yep. Yep. when you pull it back, yep. the upper body position, this comes out a little bit? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So think of it as um, somebody's, somebody's kind of got you almost a little bit of in a bear hug here. So I'm going to actually... I could come up here on the side of his head, boom, this way. And then if he's got his arms around me, I'm gonna try and headbutt, bring my rear end out. So from here, boom. so I'm gonna try and take his arms with me and headbutt him. Then I'm gonna grab him up and twist him over, okay? Oh. So that's kind of the thought on that one is that, that the hips are going out to make him have to come with the hips and my head's going forward. Okay. So we, don't the, we don't practice headbutt much in our Shotokan training. So the, the arms though would be just in line with the, the hips. I actually have mine a just further. a little bit behind, just behind the, uh, my buttocks. So here's would be, here would be inside right down my hip line, uh, hip joint, just behind. Okay. And then a question about the twist. Yeah. So, are you moving the hips, hip vibration on the twist, or just well, hands? No. So if I'm here, right, I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna twist like I'm gonna do a gyakuzuki. So if I just did a gyakuzuki from here. <clears throat> Okay, same thing. Okay, one one action, bring the right hip forward. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, good. And then the last one is actually when you're grabbing um, and you're doing the head twist. Yeah. Do you use hips on that one also? Are there? I use a hip vibration on that. It's kind of like Samanzuki, okay? So Samanzuki, we have straight hip here, and then the next two are hip vibration. So same sort of thing. Okay. A little hip vibration going. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes. All right. So let's take some of these pieces and see if we can uh, see if we can make them a little bit more uh, dynamic. And I'm going to do this uh, in the, in the uh, leg of the kata, but I want you to still come toward me doing the same uh, right leg of the kata. So first move, 
stepping forward, I want you to reach across here like this. This hand's just gonna come underneath. Okay, see how I went sunk down, squeeze my thighs together and make this nice and firm. Notice this elbow is not tucked in here. It's out here, okay? Think of this elbow as I'm coming on top of his arm. He's got me here and I'm gonna come on top of this arm as I strike this way. Okay, so it's striking this way, sorry. Okay, so let's do that a few times. It's and again, it's okay, again, it's so really, you should really feel it in the in the lats pulling down, okay, pulling down in the lats. Okay, a couple more times. It's okay. Now notice too that I don't end my legs before my arms land. It's not like this. And then I'm still moving my arms. I need to save some save some leg, kind of like the way we do in So Chin. And uh, let's see, we've had a couple other ones where we've done that too recently. Okay, so saving the leg to be able to, to have a little bit of extra or uh, leg and arms moving together. If I were doing this at full speed, <clears throat> this would all end together, right? But I'm not doing it full speed, so I gotta have really good leg control, body control. So here, when your leg ends, your hand should land, so should your breath. Okay, let's do it a couple more times, see if you can manage that. It's, Itch. Back. So this is a this is the wrong way to do it. Sitting down on it. It should be a pushing with the back leg. Notice, watch this leg pushing with the back leg. Okay, a couple more times. One more. All right, good. Any questions on that particular move? All right, I don't hear anybody chirping in. All right, so from the next one, stepping out into the kakiwaki, okay? Squeeze this in here like this, not, not up here by your face, but just kind of wrists uh, just a, uh, about where your uh, uh, throat is. And I'm gonna step out into a back stance. Okay, try not to have this go and pull back. Try and land where you want to land and stay there. So from here, stepping out to your left, itch. And the next one, same thing. Step across, bring your wrists up to your neck level. Same thing. So this is going out and pulling in. Very different than uh, Gion that goes front stance going this way. Different different technique. This is pulling. This is pushing. That's why it's, this is a front stance. This is a back stance. Okay. All right. Let's do this again. So from uh, from the elbow or uh, back fist, itch, knee. Okay, so wrists end up about bottom of the armpit. Fist is about even with your shoulders, unless you have monster shoulders, okay? Um, one of the other things too, is you wanna think uh, bending your base leg that's creating that back stance as you go forward. So as I go forward here, I'm gonna bend into this right leg really good. And then I'm gonna pivot on the ball of the foot, okay? Again, itch. So I have to pivot just a little bit. Okay, one more time. Itch, 
because I'm going 45 degrees. This foot was straight. Now it's got to go to 45 degrees. I'm going to step across. I'm going to put my foot in the right spot this time and step out so I don't have a pivot. Okay. All right, a couple more. Oh, cramp in my leg. All right, so front leg. Ready? Itch. Knee. Okay, let me see what you guys got going. Let's start from the beginning and have you go through those three moves. All right. All right, here we go. Itch. Okay, Mary, drop your right arm down more. Yes, there you go. And a little bit more bend to it. Yep. Bend toward you. There you go. Knee. Some. All right, good. All right, so Masa, elbows need to be bent a little bit more. Put those elbows closer to your body a little bit. This goes out and comes back, okay? So think of it as if you wanted to hold something up like this, how far away would your elbows need to be in order to hold it up? You wouldn't want to be out here, right? See how you, you're really losing a lot of the connection into your lats? So bring this down here like this, like it's uh, tense it completely and this turns over, okay? All right, Andy Lesage. Two, this is really small for you. You're just doing here. So from here, reach out a little bit and come back. Okay, so go back, everybody go back to the, uh, the forearm and front stance. Okay, so when you bring this in, reach out and then come back a little bit, okay? Itch. There you go. Knee. All right, so Gary, uh, get your elbows in and your hands out just a little bit. There you go, good. That's good, Dirk, that's good, Elaine, I like it. Andy Lim, that's good too. Okay, excellent. Any questions on that part? Okay, so this, tar this part here has a lot of uh, uh, breathing and body dynamics. It has to be really and really collect all your body tension at the very end. Now, um, as part of this, uh, this week I had a private lesson with uh, Marcus. And one of the things we talked about a little bit was why do we do slow techniques in the katas? And uh, this is related to like hand sandan where it's you know, slow this way, right? Um, my thought on that, and I've not actually heard any senior person necessarily say so, uh, but there are folks that I've talked to that also agree that when it's slow, it's a slow technique that it would be something that would be very, very devastating to somebody if you did it to them full speed. Okay, so in the past, they used to do this stuff in like in partner drills. Well, that kind of went away in the Shotokan system, unfortunately, uh, which is why we lost a lot of the bunkai to us Westerners, right? So my thought is that they left the slow moves in there because they are they're still supposed to be pretty devastating. So, for instance, on hand sanda, if I pull you in this way and I send this hand out that way, your head's coming this way, my hand's going out that way. So in order to do a pro a two-person drill, I have to pull you slowly and push this back out slowly, okay? So same sort of thing with this uh, with this part here. If I were to hit you, hit you in the neck with this, you know, one hand here, neck here, that eh, would probably be a little bit of a challenge for you to get back up if I went too fast, okay? Now, when I do it for real, I would probably go fast. Same thing with this part here. I would come on top of the hand, guess what? As I come across this, his head's going forward. Guess what? That's coming and hitting him in the neck. Okay. 
All right, let's go to the next the next portion. Now this one's one of my own little ways to do it, idiosyncrasy, if you will. What I like to do with this next part is I is I pivot my foot before or as I'm getting ready to step. So if I'm if I'm here, right, and you can you see my right foot, okay. I take this foot and squeeze it in and make it make it uh, uh, my thighs come together and go across this way. So from here, this foot pivots in on the on the uh, pivoting on the heel, lifting the toes up. So I'm here. So I get my foot turned so that it's going straight down that line, which is about 45 degrees to the line that I'm heading down this way in a front stance. Okay, and the same same principle on this one is you want to save leg in order to make everything land together. Okay, so from here, okay, I'm here. Now from this from this one, as I'm finishing this, I want this quick, quick and then another kick punch quick. So you have to pick the knee up. A lot of people will do this. One, two, I'll do it this way. One, two, and then scoop it, okay? You have to pick that knee up and, and poke that uh, kick very nicely. So from here, one, two, three, four. Okay, so here, boom, here, boom, here, boom, here, boom. Okay, so you got to get that foot down in a hurry, and you got to get the knee knee up and down in a hurry. Okay, so uh, let's do this from from just this tate shuto. Everybody going this way. Okay, we'll pretend that this is your right side. So everybody, actually, everybody, put your left left arm forward this way. Okay, we're gonna do two punch, kick punch. Ready? Itch. Okay, that's got to be nice and driven. Boom, and put this, put this down. So this hip goes out and back, out and back in a hurry to bring this leg down. Okay, so from here, let's go straighten this leg some. Palm underneath. One, two. Again, straighten this leg. Put this hand out. Left hand underneath. One. Two. All right. Now let's pretend like we're going to go the other way. Put it all facing this way. Okay. So, uh, and then we'll work the transition of that in a moment here. So again, straighten this leg out. Bring your right arm underneath. One. Two. Okay. The challenge on this punch is don't get yourself tipped over. That means you have to keep this, all this core going, okay? Ready, straighten the leg out. One, two. <coughs> One more. One, two. Eight. All right, good. <coughs> so from here, sorry, right leg forward. One. Two. Now from here, we're going to do the same thing with that left leg as I did with the right leg. Pivot this heel in as I turn it. <coughs> One. All right, good. Let's do this again from here. One. Two. One. Two. Hey. All right. All right, so let's see from the beginning all the way to there. Let's see if you got it. Itch. Knee. Thumb.
So Andy Lesage, don't forget to reach out, come back, all right? There you go, without moving your stance. Yeah, there you go. Itch, pivot that foot. Knee <coughs> some she go. All right, Elaine, you gotta pick that knee. A little scoopy, itch. Mary, make that hand come from underneath the armpit, not on top of the other arm. There you go, yeah. Itch, knee, some she. All right, Mary, you gotta be lifting that knee a little bit better too. Okay. Yeah, still, still uh, scoopy. Knee first, then kick. Nope. Uh, you'll get to see it in the video when you when you watch it later. Okay, let's go through the kata one more time. Any uh, any other questions on uh, on this uh, particular kata that we've been working on so far? Yeah. So Andy, don't uh, don't let your shoulders go forward either when you reach. Just reach with your arms. Don't reach with your shoulders and come back. Just your arms. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like that. So your body posture stays still tall. Okay. Yeah, Gary. Right. One last question here. So this is near the end of the kata. You know, um, coming back, you know, I have here, then I have this, you know, I punch. What's the next move from here? Is it back to here? Uh, after you've tossed twice? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, yes. Then comes, yes. First move. Yep. Right. And, and then step through with a hammer fist. No, step back with a hammer fist. Really open that hip way up. Keep it up. Not not a back fist. Hammer fist. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And then step forward with that hip again. Oitsuki. Yeah. Okay. So that that opening of the hip. And the closing of the hip are like just this one big springboard. Think of it as, you know, jumping into the pool off of the springboard, right? When you get to the bottom, you just go up again, right? You don't stop at the bottom because the springboard wants to send you up. So make it go back and go forward again. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Let's go through it another time. Good show, show. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Itch. Knee. Some. She. Go. Itch. Knee. Stepping back, elbow, itch. Knee, reach across to your left side, pull. This right arm should be at a 45 degrees to your body direction. Kind of almost square off your right hip, 45 degrees. Now split, this arm comes back slightly, but parallel to the ground. This one's down here by the knee, itch. Now this one is moving the right leg, squeeze it to your left and set your hip up to go into a back stance. This right arm goes across to your left shoulder. Knee. Okay, big turn. So you gotta use your hip, gotta use your arms and your head turning. It's Knee, step across, left high, stack the hands, toss. Right high, stack the hands, left on top, catch, pull. Very consistent, same way every time. Itch. Okay, shoot though. Big hip turn. Now hip stays open. Now it goes to the other side. Big hip turn again. 
and it opens to the other side. Now hip rotates, big over rotated hip, uchuke, kick, cover punch, down punch. Catch to the left side of the body, pull across, hitch. Okay, big toss, hitch. Knee, out, and punch, hitch. Itch. Now here's that right hip is gonna open really hard into this kibodachi, and then I'm gonna fly forward again as I sink into this. Itch. Itch. Itch, drop, up, back, and forward, rotate. Itch. Nekodach. Knee. Inside to outside, thumb, Aip. pivot, yummy, Bop. okay, all right, let's see you guys go through the whole thing, see if anybody's got any quirks they need, I'll give you the count though on this one, and then we'll go through the whole thing all together, okay, all right, here we go. Good show, show. Uh, Masa, you might want to back up just a little bit. There you go. Itch. Knee. Thumb. She. Itch. Knee. Hold on. Itch, elbow. Itch. All right, so Gary, go back to the elbow. Okay, I want you to, yeah, there you go. I want you to squeeze your right leg in. Do not move your left leg, only pivot to get to this next one. Go. No, no, you gotta bring it in toward your left leg. Can't just turn it out, move it over. You gotta squeeze it in, change your direction, reach at the same time. Now pull, there you go, that's much better. 45 degree with the arm, even more to the right. Yeah, right there, good. Itch, knee, some sheet. <coughs> All right, Dirk, not one, two, three. Make it one, two, three. Like Sambanzuki, okay? Itch. <coughs> hold on, hold on. Um, uh, Higashi's, hang on just a second. Itch, knee, some sheet. I got she's wait, 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 wait. Go back to the toss. Itch. Uh, hold on, there's a, uh, you guys are going the wrong direction. You did the, tar the turn first, you gotta come back. All right, let's go back to, let's go back to the elbow. I think uh, the guy she's uh, skipped a section. Okay, good. Reach, elbow, should be left, left leg, or right leg forward, elbow. Right leg forward, elbow. This one here, Dirk. Elbow to the front, hide your eye, there you go, good. Now turn and grab, one. Split, one, two, three. Now there's one more of these, Miho, there you go, good. Reach and grab, one. Turn it over, Gary. No, don't split yet. Don't split yet. Everybody go back to the catch. Everybody go back to the catch. Now split, one, two, three. Okay. Now big turn, itch. Good, knee. 
Left high, then stack, then toss again, Andy. There you go. Itch. Knee, catch. Nice squeeze on that, Andy Lashage. Good. Itch. Knee, some cheap. Itch. Uh, Gary, you're supposed to be doing a shoot to the neck. Facing me. There it is. Good. Itch. Let it go all the way out, Gary. Straight, straight, straight arm. Right down the middle. There you go. Itch. Knee. Thump. Sheet. Go. Rock. Hitch. Utuki, Gary. Other arm. There you go. Kick, cover punch. And down block. Good. Itch, catch. Bring your right leg in and bring it across. Turn that hand over, Gary. There you go. Itch. Knee, some cheek. Itch. Knee. So Gary, when you lift your leg up, your hands got to go out at the same time you lift your leg up. So step across and then put that hand out when your knee comes up. Oh, as soon as the knee comes up, stick it out. There you go. Now punch when it, when you land. There you go. Toss. Hang on, Andy. Itch. Now you got to get the hand and leg to be together. Boom, boom. And as you land, punch. As you land, punch. Itch, first move. Close fist on the bottom side. Yeah. Itch, knee. Some she go. And twist, and twist. So hands down, Gary, up to the chin, toss in the back, hands to your hips, and then go twist. Good, itch. Oh, Mary, what was that? Uh, see, you think I'm not watching you. Nope, nope, go down and all the way around this way. There you go. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody go back to the elbows on the hips. Watch for a second. Okay, so my elbows are here on my hips. Watch. Then flow. It's not this. Okay, so go. Down and around, slow. When this is done here, then come up slow, okay? Don't run those together, okay? All right, let's go back to the hands on the hips, ready? Itch. E. Thumb. Itch. All right, Yame. All right, not too bad. Let me give you a little bit of help. A couple of you have a little awkward um, hand in in this. Okay, it's not catching. It's not catching like this. It's a, it's truly a shoot though. Okay but it's just over here like this, okay? So don't think of it as, as a catch like this, okay? With your fingers apart and your thumb is, thumb is out here doing this. It's still tucked in here, okay? Same thing with this hand underneath here, okay? And this stays like this the whole time. 
one, two, three. Now I like having these these fingers here and this one a little curled when I do these. Okay, not straight. I've seen it demonstrated straight. I'm not really a big fan. I like having a little bit of finger turn just because I like to have a little bit of control when I'm pushing or pulling with the, with these three fingers. Okay. And and when I have this thing, these fingers bent a little bit, I also create a bigger cup here than I do if I'm here. Okay. So this here gives me a little bit bigger cut for underneath the chin. All right. All right. Any other questions on that one? Let me see, there was something else that I saw. Oh, so when you toss this way, all these tosses are, are hands up this way. Okay, so center of this forearm is at your belly button. This hand is wrist about belt height. Same thing, this one is slightly below the belt, but tossed out this way. So same sort of thing. I've I've taken him and I've whoo, thrown him this way. Okay, if his head or if he came off of that a little bit, then I would take him back. Maybe he stepped out of it. I didn't turn fast enough. So he's down here. I got his head. I couldn't quite get him here. So the next move is continue moving him. Okay, his head's still here. I'm going to continue moving him. Knee up. Pull and then toss. So this hand, these hands are here pulling in nice and tight. Okay, so here, pull, twist again. And then I'm gonna toss them again. Okay, again, both hands are up when you do this. Okay, somebody have a question, Andy? Sensei, both times that we do these tosses, they're identical, right, in terms of the hand position? Correct. Okay. Unlike, they, unlike uh, uh, Goshio Dai, which has different hand positions. One's this way, toss the other way, open hands. Oh, uh, thank you. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's go through it again. This is all good work. I appreciate you guys taking the time to learn it. Here we go. It's Knee. Thumb, keep your arms up. She. Go. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Thump. Itch. Knee. Thump. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Thump. She. Go. Rock. Itch. Hot. Squeeze. Itch. Knee. Big turn, itch, itch, itch. Knee and arm go out together. Itch, knee, itch, itch. knee, thumb, she, itch. Yummy. Boss. Okay. Any last questions? All right. So I'm going to watch you guys do the whole thing without my help. And we'll see if you can get through the whole thing without, uh, without mistake. All right. I'm not going to count. I want you to go through the whole thing. Uh, and see how see how well you do, Elliot, Eric. You guys gonna show me? All right, go show show yo. Hajime.
Which you okay, Gary? Turn the hand over, Gary. Ah, turn the hand over. Palm down. Palm down. There you go. Yep. And tuck the thumb. Yep. All right. Yummy. So, Mary, just a little quick. Okay. Take a little bit more time. Um, finishing every one of those moves. I think the stepping in that, you're just kind of get, you're trying to get to the, the end of the step because you don't like holding your, holding your legs. So you got to kind of slowly step into that step, each one of those. And same thing with your breath and the movements. Make them a little bit more controlled, a little bit longer, take longer to get. You were full three moves ahead of the, the next person quickness, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, so Gary, you got to get those hands turned over when you make these, okay? Um, Andy, show me, Andy Lim, show me from the, uh, from the, uh, first move, stepping back, Kiba, hammer fist, and step forward, and then it, to the next, up to the chin. All right. So you moved your left leg that time, <laughs> which is what you should do. Oh. The last time you moved your right leg. So, all right, good, good catch. <laughs> Amazing what happens uh, when being watched. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, um, and Miho, you're not trying to bring your fists together. You are not trying to bring your fists together. Just straight back, just straight back. And you don't have to go so far, just maybe even with your buttocks. Yeah, there you go. Yep, there you go. And yeah, bend yourself over a little bit. Yep. Yeah, this is not this is not the same technique from uh, chinte. Okay, the chinte move is like two two knuckles actually trying to come come to each other here back here. Although it's similar similar type of technique where you're trying to break free from somebody grabbing onto you, okay? But it could be from somebody who's got you from behind, bam. And then you're stepping around them and hitting again, okay? All right, let's go one more time. We'll do it together. And uh, let's see if we can all look good on, in the multi-view. Uh, sure, sure. Before we do the grab and you're bringing the leg up. Yep. How far do you typically bring this back leg up before the grab? About, no, not all the way. And it should be, it, you're bringing it up to squeeze your thighs together, not, not just to bring the foot up. So I bring mine about halfway, about halfway, but my foot only comes halfway. The thighs come together a lot more than that. Okay. Okay, so the foot only comes halfway, and it's kind of the same principle of move through center, right? My mm -hmm. center's here, so I'm gonna squeeze into the center. So my thigh's gonna go forward, my foot's gonna go to the center, and then I'm gonna step back again. Okay, let's go. All right, regular speed. All right, try and stay with me tempo-wise, okay? So some of you who are going a little too slow, some of you are going way too fast, so let's see if we can get the tempo down. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's go to your show. Hajime. 
All right, Mary, was that a little bit very slow compared to what you were doing? No, I, uh, I was, it was good. Okay. <laughs> no, I was right with you. Yeah, it was good. I see where I need to, um, to slow up the parts. Um, okay. Yeah, so Just take, go. take your time and really. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's where I think. And we've talked about this in your private lessons, right? Yeah. Trying to have, trying to go find those muscles that you can tense at the very end and not just kind of have a pretty position, right? We've got to exercise the body to develop the muscles. Cause guess what? If I ever got to use this and hit somebody with it, I got to have, have the muscles to move the, move the arms, not just put my arms on top of their shoulders and say, oh, nice job right <laughs> okay all right any last questions all right very good thank you thank you for coming appreciate it we'll see you guys some of you on saturday